Greetings YouTube, Ultra Maximus here with a fourth Superman reboot update. A uh, couple things I want to talk about. Uh, first of all, we have the title of the film. This new Superman film, much like The Dark Knight, will be entitled Man of Steel. Now, it's not known exactly if it's going to be Superman colon Man of Steel or just simply Man of Steel like uh, The Dark Knight was which could quite possibly happen, considering the input that Chris Nolan's putting into the film. I'm going to presume, though, I've seen in more articles than not, it's Superman colon the Man of Steel. So I guess we'll see what's going on with that. I also want to talk about some new villain and casting news. All right, so the villain has been set for this film. It is going to be none other than what we were expecting here recently, General Zod. Now, we've seen Zod in a few different incarnations over years, since the first appearance of Zod in Superman 2, the Richard Donard film. Um, Terrence Stamp played General Zod in the initial role, which is legendary, classic, my personal favorite thus far. Um, we've also seen Zod come into the comic books. He's been in uh, Superman, uh, The Man of Steel. He's been in Action Comics, recently Richard Donner put together a story arc that had Zod and Ursa um, and a new Superboy uh, come to uh, break out of the Phantom Zone, create a new um, Krypton, and there was the whole ordeal in comics with that. So we've seen that incarnation. Now, we've also seen Zod in Smallville, but not as General Zod, as Major Zod, and he's possessed... Lex Luthor, um, and, you know, battled Clark, and he's also physically come to Earth as Major Zod, uh, played by Colin Blue, which I find ironic that he's also on the Tudors, where Henry Cavill's from, so it's an interesting little connection there, so there's probably some behind-the-scenes Hollywood casting connections there. But now we have set um, our new General Zod, uh, for a while, we thought it was going to be Viggo Mortensen. Uh, he had dropped out of the Snow White reboot um, that he was attached to, and a lot of people pointed uh, that he was going to go to this new Superman reboot, which we now know is the Man of Steel. However, that did not happen. In fact, much like the Amy Adams casting of Lois Lane, it came out of nowhere. That's right. Our new General Zod is none other than Michael Shannon, which completely threw me by surprise. I didn't even know that he was in the running for this, uh, you know, much less read about it. Um, Michael, he's been um, on a few things. Most recently, he's been on uh, Boardwalk Empire. I personally have not seen that show, uh, but everybody I've talked to has really liked the film. It's critically acclaimed. Uh, again, much like with Cavill and the Tudors, I've never really seen that show, but everybody said it was really great and awesome. Same thing with this Boardwalk Empire, so we'll see that. Um, some other films you might remember uh, Mr. Shannon in. Uh, he was in Jonah Hex. He played Doc Cross Williams. Um, he's also in the movie Let's Go to Prison. He's also in the film uh, World Trade Center. He was in some episodes of Law & Order. He was in Bad Boys 2. He was also in 8 Mile. Um, I personally remember him from Vanilla Sky and Pearl Harbor. Uh, he was also in the movie Tigerland and uh, Groundhog Day, to name a few of the other films he's been in. Uh, he hasn't really been in all that much recently. It seems more of his acting films, the things that I've seen, have been from the 90s and the early aughts. So I haven't really, me personally, haven't seen him in too many things lately. Um, other than, um, I think the last thing I saw him in was in Let's, Let's Go to Prison. Um, decent actor. He was really good. I, I remember most memorable movie that I, I remember him from is Pearl Harbor. And he, he did a good job there. But how's he going to stand up as General Zod? Is he going to have the chops? Let's see how he stands up.
All right. So here's Michael Shannon next to Terrence Stamp, who, in my opinion, is the absolute best incarnation of General Zod to date. Um, from the onset, sure, I could I could see it. Um, we're gonna have to slick his hair back, maybe give him a haircut there. Uh, but he's definitely got some very intense eyes. I like the way his eyebrows sit on um, his face. He he looks like he could have a very stern look about himself. Um, he's got a good rigid jaw for it. I could see this. Um, I personally would have rather seen Vigo in the role. However, they obviously went a different direction, just like they did with Amy Adams, like I said before. And to point out, I'm sure Michael Shannon cost a lot less than Vigo. Um, you know, let's see where he goes with it. Uh, the, the things I've seen him in, I haven't had a problem with him. And from what I've heard about this Boardwalk Empire, it's supposed to be a good show. So I guess I'm going to have to delve into that and check out Mr. Shannon there. But here we have it. This is our next General Zod. All right. So Michael Shannon's joining our cast of Henry Cavill as Superman. We've got Kevin Costner as Jonathan Kent. We've got Diane Lane as Martha Kent, and we've got Amy Adams as Lois Lane, and now Michael Shannon as Zod. They are still working on casting for Ursa, uh, who's the villainous in the film, obviously um, subordinate to General Zod, and it makes me wonder of the actresses that they've been talking about and rumor, rumored to be um, going up for the role of Ursa. How much can we really put into it? Um, the only one uh, that has not come out of left field for me is Henry Cavill. I knew he was in that uh, running for that role. Everybody else has pretty much been out of left field for me. So um, I don't really put too much uh, salt into what the other actresses that are going in for that role could be. It could be somebody we don't even know. Who knows? Another question is, is Lex Luthor going to make an appearance in this film? If so, who are we going to cast? Um, you know, Zack Snyder said that Superman's going to be much more physical in this film. Now we know why. Um, you know, at one point he said Zod was not going to be in the movie. Now he is the major villain. So this whole film is full of, uh, you know, misdirection. What's it going to be? What's it going to do? Um, so I'm really interested to see where it goes from here. And um, I'm glad that we went with Zod as the villain. I think that's a great choice. I'm looking forward to Michael Shannon's um, role as Zod. And I want to see if he can actually stand up to Terrence Stamp's Zod. Or is he going to have to kneel before Terrence Stamp's Zod? We shall see. Thanks for watching. And keep an eye out for other updates. And take a look at my other reviews including 3D, Blu-ray, DVDs, uh, comics, video games, and more. Again, thanks for watching.